mine have never been the platonic ideal of breasts, turned awry and dappled like a cow's nose or a pair of lonesome spaniel's ears. At their best, they are great and flappy, easily tied down with straps if I'm feeling the lure of leather. At their worst, they hang like baubles, one at a second-rate Christmas fair, sluggish and ponderous, longing to reach my knees. As a teen, I caged them in a stricture more pad than tit, cooped them up in clasps and wires and fabric. They begged to be set free. On my left breast, I had a mole once, but the discoloration was hinting. The doctor cut it off. The underside from the cut is reddish and gets puffy whenever I'm over hot or embarrassed. Together we felt every tear and every stitch. You looked so strange, Mole, floating in the doctor's jar of yellow oil. My breast still misses you. Thank you.